night after editing, I did my usual. My 2 a.m. YouTube binge. And I came across one of my favorite creators, Levi Allen. What he's got right here is a challenge. It's, uh, here, let me just show you. It's right there. It's the Habit of Excellence Challenge. So I get up this morning, and first thing I do is I look at my checklist, I write down everything that I didn't finish yesterday, and it has to be done today. And I start knocking those things out. I start running errands. Next thing I know, it's two o'clock in the afternoon, and I haven't even tended to my own habits of excellence. The stuff that I think I need to do every single day before I can start creating and sharing it with other people. And I'm gonna probably be posting it on Instagram. This is definitely gonna go on YouTube, but I just wanna bring you guys along for the ride. And this challenge in particular, it got me thinking. For the last six months or so, I've been trying to rebrand my YouTube channel, not really posting as much because I want it to be about wellness and personal development. But I really wanna focus on not just me becoming a better person, but helping others to do it as well. Since the beginning of this year, I've really buckled down on yoga, running, my diet, and I haven't been sharing it. So here's my habit of excellence. I don't know if you've ever experienced this, but if I don't get up in the morning and just take some time for myself, and I just jump straight to the rat race, my mind gets jumbled. I lose track of things. Not even by the end of the day, halfway through the day, I find myself projecting or even looking into the past, kind of doubting myself. There's definitely something about getting up in the morning before everyone else and finding balance. You know, taking care of myself physically, mentally, and just getting the day started right. It's come to a point where, for the most part, I don't really care about posting on social media like I used to. And I struggle putting myself out there because I'm so focused on personal development. I go running every single morning. And I don't do just normal like running on the side of the road. I do trail running because I'm definitely a nature enthusiast. And it's, there's just something about running through the woods that I would say it balances me, but also at the same time, it helps me appreciate, you know, the things you don't see every day. It helps remind me of my goals too, because one of my goals, you know, is to be a documentary filmmaker. These GoPro mounts are trash. The little clips on them, they break all the time. That's why I hardly ever use my GoPro. Every time I get it out, something cracks. It costs me like $50 to get a new piece. It's absurd. That's where they get you. It's not easy becoming the person you want to be. If it was easy, everyone else would do it. Now, a lot of people know about this. Create or conform. And it's not really a negative thing against society and the nine to five, because I essentially create my own nine to five. I have my own routine, my own schedule. But it's the idea that you can create whatever life you want to create. You can be a creative, you can be any sort of entrepreneur, but you don't have to build someone else's dream. You're not subject to that. You don't have to follow orders from someone else. For me, it's it's too comfortable. I rest on my laurels and I don't progress forward as a human being I want to be. 
So, one of the hardest parts of personal development isn't the action itself, whether it's dieting, exercise, or just like really educating yourself on like spiritual awareness, whatever it is for you. It's getting started. You see, once you get started, you start holding yourself accountable. I mean, if you do it enough days in a row, if you do it one day, two or three days, and then stop it two or three days, you're not really gonna get it anywhere. But once you hold yourself accountable for like at least two weeks, you start feeling guilty for not, not continuing up with this habit of development. I fall short all the time, but it's those shortcomings that get me back up, get me moving, and get me working towards the goal. Because I have an idea of myself, I have it written down, I thought about it. I think about while I'm running, I visualize it. I know who I'm becoming, so I don't let my faults hold me back. This book right here, I listen to it, I read it almost every night, The Power of Now. It is life changing. It helps you keep your ego beside you, just keep writing. Pretty heavy book, man. You gotta read it over a couple times. But, um, I digress.